Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, the bonds to the elders, the apostles of GMS, the honors and blessings to the elect throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth and sincerity. All right, uh, the name of this lesson is going to be entitled uh, Mexican is Hebrew. And me and the brother Bun Yum Yum, uh, we, we went into this before, but this is a more uh, shortened lesson. You know, for brothers that want the information quickly, you're really just going straight to the information um, and, and showing you the pages, giving you page numbers, giving you books, you know, so you can, you know, get the information yourself, you know, look it up for yourself. And we in the last days, man, and the Lord is gathering together his elect. And you got 12,000 uh, out of each tribe, you know, the 144,000, you have 12,000 out of each tribe. So we also have to consider our other brothers, you know, uh, of the other tribes, you know, in particular of the Northern Kingdom, man, of Israel, what you so-called uh, North American Indians, Latinos and, uh, and uh, Hispanics, you know, so-called Native Americans, so-called uh, Latinos, you know, you're Israelites, okay? And, uh, you know, if anybody want to interject, that's what I'm say, you know. Uh, but we're going to just show the information, all right? And as you can see here, we have a so-called Mexican um, who, who's on a donkey, you know, which, which is a workhorse, you know, but that, you know, that's Issachar. That's Issachar, and, and we're going to show you Issachar in the scriptures and in, in this information we're going to bring out, all right? Now, just like we brought out before, about the word Mexican. What does Mexican goes back to? What does it go back to? It goes back to the word Messiah. All right. And we're just going to show you the information now. Now, this is off of losttribes.info. Okay. Now, last time I went on there, I wasn't able to print this out. I wasn't able to print it off the site, period. I actually had to print it off of someone's uh, Facebook page. But uh, not, nonetheless, it's the same information. All right, you can look it up. You'll find it out. And it says, Messiah, the Mexicans were acquainted with the language which, which the Jews were accustomed to employ when alluding to the birth of the Messiah. Come quick, come quickly since we expect you. So they was expecting a Messiah, and they was calling him Quetzalcoatl when you look it, look it up. But that was Yehoshua in the Hebrew. Now, um, I'm not going to read this up here. You can read it on your own time when you find this uh this information but um i'm gonna go uh right here it says the following passage translated from the second section of the seventh chapter of the third book of garcia's origins origin of the indians shows that the attention of that learned writer had been drawn to this coincidence in new spain the word mexico is found, which as Brother Stephen de Salacar remarks, is Hebrew and is therefore introduced in the second psalm and signifies his anointed. So they're, they're letting you know that the word Mexico goes back to Mexico. That's how they they originally said it. Uh, and, and it goes back to Messiah. All right, because uh, it signified uh, his anointed. All right. That's that's what what Mexican means. The word Mexican means anointed, and it says since the leader who conducted those who people Mexico was named uh, Misai, or as other writers or as others write, uh, Mexi or Mexi, and the city and and the uh, excuse me, and the city and the nation were afterward called after him, in the same way as we see that many cities, provinces, and nations have been named after those who peopled and founded them, or to whom they, they owed their origin, as we shall presently point out, the word M M Messiah or Messi should be noted as being really Hebrew, and it agrees surprisingly with the name of the chief, head, or captain of the Mexicans, because uh, they were calling uh, their leader also uh, Mextili or, or Mexitli, which, which is the same thing, you know, that it goes back to uh, Messiah. 
uh, it, it says it's off a of Lost Tribe uh, info. All right, so that's what that's what this is from. All right, and it, it tells you uh, how the word Messiah may bear a relationship to the word Mashiach. All right, so th that's it, man. Okay, and we also have uh, from the book Anacalypsis, and li like I said, you know, me and the brother brought this out before, the book by Godfrey Higgins. Okay, um, and just getting straight to the point. Lord Kingsborough says, but one solution offers itself from all the difficulties and mysteries which seem to be uh, inseparable from the study of the ancient monuments, paintings, and mythology of the Mexicans, and that is the presence of the Jews in the New World. All right, so th that's it, you know? Uh, I mean, they weren't the Jews because uh, the Jews are Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know, the other nations grouped them all together and called them Jews. But uh, they're the Israelites, you know, so the, the presence of the Israelites in the New World, okay? And uh, when you keep reading, all right, uh, the similarity between the Jews and Christians and South Americans is, is sufficiently striking, but there is yet something to me still more so, which is that the, se the that several of the doctrines which I have advocated in this work, unknown to the vulgar Jews and Christians of, of this day, are to be found in Mexico. Their true God, their creator, is called by the names Yao and Home. Well, and, and uh, some say. Remember, uh, the brother Ben Yum Yum brought out before how uh, the the name Yao, well, in Spanish, uh, the H is silent, so it'll be uh, ya Yao or Yao, you know. So they were basically trying to say Yahweh, and you have to remember they were here for such a long time, man, you know that they would lose some things, okay? All right, but hitting the main point. All right, here it is. It says from page one eighty six. Um, that Mexico or Mexico was the Hebrew, then it would be the country of the Messiah. And they were calling it that because they knew that they were Israelites, man, and they knew about the Savior, okay? Because, uh, you know, he came over here. He actually came over here, you know, uh, before he went back to the Father, and that's why he said other sheep he has which are not of this, this fold, you know? That's why they were all expecting the Messiah, the Mayans, you know, uh, me and the brother Ben Yum Yum went into that. You know, they were calling uh, Yahweh Shai uh, Kukalkan, which means law given high priest. The, the Aztecs call him Quetzalcoatl. You know, uh, certain North American Indian tribes, uh, you know, they would call him different names, you know, but, but uh, they were expecting them. Or it may be equally, or it might equally be the country of the leader whom we call Moses. Which is not, that's not what it was talking about. It was talking about Yahweh Shai. Because you keep reading, his lordship shows that the word Mesitli, which is the Aztec god of war, which that would represent Yahweh Shai, or Mexico is precisely, is precisely the same as the Hebrew word Messiah or anointed. You know, so, and you can read all this on your own time. And it talks about uh, Quetzalcoatl. You know, but it, it's letting you know that that's really uh, the Messiah, you know, whom they were expecting. OK, and um, you can look back at this uh, document, really just get the book on Ecalypsis, you know, if you can get it. But uh, it'll let you know the different page numbers, you know, whether you get this from page 82 or not or, or this page, you know, it's just how they have it when I got off the uh, Internet. But you can look all that up on your own time. OK, but. That was the point. You people that's calling themselves uh, Mexicans, you're, you're really Israelites, man. Okay, but see, you're not a Mexican. Really, who you are is Yashakar. That's how you say it in the Hebrew, which uh, the uh, definition they have is wrong. It doesn't mean there is recompense. It means he is hired. All right, that's what it means. Okay, well, over here, it says... Uh, he brings wages or he is wages. It means he is hired. You work for wages, you know, you work for money. Um, but, but that's what it means. All right. And we broke down to you. The word Mexican comes from the Hebrew word Mashiach. 
which which means anointed, anointed one. So call us the one of Mexican is calling them anointed and anointed one. And uh, the land of Mexico, that's the land of the anointed one. You know, they were expecting a Messiah. They were expecting Yahushua. And why do you think they was building those pyramids, man? Okay, you actually had the pyramid of the sun. Now, when you look this up, basically this was uh, made, uh, you know, uh, um, to to remember Quetzalcoatl by, you know, the pyramid of the sun. It says it's the largest building in uh, Teotihuacan and one of the largest in Mesoamerica. Okay. But who built the ancient pyramids? The, the Israelites. All right. So just like you built pyramids in America, you so-called Mexicans, which goes back to the Hebrew word Mashiach, the anointed ones, which really, like we're breaking down, is Issachar or Yashikar. You built those pyramids, man. Okay. And the so-called white man, he, he doesn't give a shit about you. That's why they want you to go back to the land of Mexico. They calling you illegal when you were here first, man. You you were you were in a. a California, you were in Texas, you were in uh, New Mexico, you you were all throughout America, man, but they're telling you to go back. You were in Arizona, and you under the same curses that we under, man. You in these gangs, MS-13, Latin Kings, all that bullshit, because it is bullshit. It tells you in Jeremiah 9 and 2 that you're not valiant for the truth. You don't want to stand up for the truth, man, and we being oppressed like you being oppressed, man. You got this sign here, no dogs, no Negroes, no Mexicans. We in the same damn boat, man. And they still feel the same way. They got the dogs above us, man. The dogs at the top of the list. They don't give a shit about the so-called Negroes, which are the tribe of Judah, or you so-called Mexicans, which are the tribe of Issachar. Okay? They, they don't care about none of us, man. Okay? But the last thing I'm going to get, man, is, is in this book, Origins of the American Indians, European Concepts. 1492 to 1729 by Lee Eldridge Huddleston. All right. And I'm speaking fast because we kind of really just running through the information. All right. As you can see, the Spanish conquistadors, the Spaniards, you're not a Spaniard. You speak Spanish, but you're not a Spaniard. We speak English, but we're not Englishmen. The, 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 the damn Spanish conquers you, man. And you see they renamed all this, man. You know? It was it was renamed. Some of it's still still the same. The name Yucatan, the name Mexico, but uh, Española that, that that comes from Spain. Puerto Rico comes from Spain, you know. But we're all the same people, all right. Now, this is uh page seventy one, all right. And the uh, last paragraph, the highlighted portion, the Indians did retain a few Hebrew words such as Yucatan, Aitan, Me Mexico, Mexico. And Peru fertile. So let, they're letting you know that Mexico is Hebrew, along with the name Peru and Yucatan, okay? And the brother read Second Edges. I uh, might want you to read it again. All right, uh, this is off of page 69. It says, Many writers identify Arsareth as America. So there you go. And you read this top portion, it talks about the captivity by the Assyrians, you know? So uh, that's it. Actually, you don't have to read it. They can read it by themselves, you know. All right. And uh, this is off page 37. Uh, it says, this Arsareth was obviously near America. It, it was America. And some of the Jews had migrated to it. He supported this conclusion by citing the similarity of certain Aztec words to Hebrew words. And by claiming both peoples had similar idolatries. Like worshiping the sun and, and idols and all that crap, man. You know? Uh, wood and stone, like I said in the scriptures. But Aztec words are compared to Hebrew words. It's the same words, man. You just spoke corrupt or a, a broken dialect of Hebrew. And just like the uh, just like the apostle Tahar said, actually the word Aztec goes back to uh, Yashikar. Okay? It's, it's the same thing, Azte Azteca Yashikar. You know, so look at that. So really, you're you're an Israelite, man. All right, you, you're not a Mexican. You need to wake up. They don't give a shit about us. They don't give a shit about you. We're the same damn people, man. All right, so with that, I mean, I hope this is edifying. All right, 
we the Israelites and, and we trying to go back home, man. All right. So till next lesson, we say shalom.